so I am in complete shock over whatever I just witnessed in that basketball game. What is the exact number? 20-something points in the fourth quarter, third quarter, whatever it was. I mean, Lou Williams was the guy who got it going. He just kept making just ISO buckets pretty much. You know, just pull up mid-range, hit a guy with one crossover or whatever. I believe he had one contested three in there. And then Trey Young, I mean, he had that one step back mid-range that was huge. He had a floater where the Sixers did nothing to stop him. He got Thibel to foul him, and uh, he, he made all three of those free throws. And then you had Gallo with that turnaround jumper over, I think it was Seth Curry or whatever. On the other end, I mean, it started out with the Sixers and that bench lineup. They, they just couldn't really generate baskets, and that's been a theme, uh, that bench lineup just not being very good. I know they, they, they try with Tobias as the lone starter. It just wasn't working at all, as Lou Will was just getting whatever he wanted on the other end. Starters get back in there, and, you know, it's a little bit of hacking Ben, and he's missing some free throws, and Bede had those two misses there. There was a really bad turnover out of a timeout. Uh, was there an offensive foul? I don't remember if there was one of those, but there was one play where the Sixers, I, they were, I think they were trying to get something for Embiid, and then there was a double, so then it was Tobias in the corner, and while this is happening, Ben Simmons is around the dunker spot, so the spacing isn't very good, and uh, you know, there was like at least one Embiid post-up that he just took a jump shot on or whatever. Uh, basically, Atlanta was doing what they needed on offense. There was also a huge John Collins three at the top of the key as well when they brought extra attention in the paint because they couldn't stop the penetration. And on the other end, Philly, it was a complete mess. It looked like they were just a bit in disbelief. And this this is an all-time collapse. I mean, sure, it's 3-2. They can still win this series. But given what we have seen in these last two games, I mean the amount of confidence that Atlanta is going to go into game six with and what we've seen these past two with this. And I mean, you know, Philly was in a very good position to win the last one. And then Embiid was horrible in the fourth quarter, man. I mean, you, you start looking at everything you, you look at, does Embiid have the mental whatever, because he was amazing until he really needed to be. And he missed two free throws and it's not like he's a bad free throw shooter. You look at uh, the amount of money they're giving Tobias Harris. And, I mean, Seth Curry was the guy hitting some of the shots. I mean, he had that one pull-up three, which, I mean, maybe wasn't the best shot, but he at least was ready to shoot that. He had a step-back two-pointer, or maybe it was a pull-up two-pointer amongst the comeback that went in. So it seemed like he was at least ready to take some shots, whereas it did seem like, you know, your guy Tobias, who I mean, he's the second-leading scorer on this team, and he had four points tonight. And look, it, it, it's an overpay with Tobias. Everybody knew it was. I'm pretty sure the Philly organization knew it was, but they were like, we just can't lose this guy. Um, the point is, is that he had four points and you're paying him like 30 something million dollars. He's a good player. And again, they, they've got their chances in game six and seven, but this is just how it is. This Sixers team cannot afford to go in and out of games. They have to maintain intensity the entire time because they're not talented enough to just flip the switch. And to talk about Atlanta, I mean, listen, I didn't think they were going to get this far in this series. I figured this was going to be Sixers and five at the most six if Embiid's knee is really acting up. But they're a talented team. Trey Young is answering whatever playoff questions you want. I mean, obviously they... We're just a totally different team when Nate McMillan took over, right? And they are doing it on defense. I mean, they threw extra bodies at Embiid when they needed to. They were not rattled at all and looked like the way more confident team with about, I don't know, five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter onwards. Even earlier than that, I guess. So yeah, what are the adjustments for games six and seven? I mean, I guess... Ben Simmons more screens like that would be cool but really it's just hey, Sixers can you just give a crap the entire time I mean how many times have they been up double digits on the Hawks in this series I mean they're clearly the better team this series should be over I mean I can say throw more bodies at Trey I can say Ben Simmons on him all the time I can say don't have the bench lineups out there as often like sure there are actual basketball things to take away from this but the biggest thing is just like, 
what the hell? You were the one seed. Go be the one seed. I know Trey Young is good, but why are we going to a game six with you down 3-2? I know that there's a lot of generalities there, but I feel like given the moment, that's just kind of what it is. Anyway, if they lose this series, I don't know what happens between trades, between Doc Rivers, between the front office. I don't know. That's a conversation that we don't really have to have right now. We can think about it a little bit. Let's give Philly the chance to win this series. They should still win it. Both of these last two games were winnable. So, yeah.